Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome back to another Frostpunk video. We're just getting our settlement here started. Here's what it looks like when you zoom all the way out. You can see uh, this is the number of workers, I think, that can be assigned to each resource site. So I've got three at all of them, except for these uh, coal deposits. I can't build a, uh, I can't build a coal mine just yet. But we've got some shelters underway. You can see down at the bottom there are meters for hope and discontent. Uh, we are stockpiling coal uh, in preparation to turn on the generator. So let's let our people get back to work. I'll speed up time here. And we get a little uh, prompt here. Heating is off. The generator's off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night. Of course. So, I'll pause the game here. Throughout the game, like that, you know, that wasn't a decision to make. Obviously, uh, you have to turn the generator on at least at night. Um, but throughout the game, there are going to be decisions you have to make that can you know there will there will be pluses and minuses there will be discontent uh, but you might have to make hard decisions about you know uh amputating gangrenous injuries and things like that uh but we'll get to that before too long i think we are still stockpiling coal we are at 160 of 200 that we're trying to reach Oh, but that's the other thing. Uh, obviously, time passes. Up there, next to the left of the uh, temperature reading there, it says 2248. That is the time. Your people will only work from, I think, I forget if it's 6 or 8 a.m., and then they stop at about 6 p.m., so nobody's working right now. I'm not stockpiling any more coal, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the generator on because it is nighttime. So I'm going to press X there. This is a little, when it's flashing like this, that means there's some kind of an alert happening and it, that's, it says the generator is off. But if I press left or right I can start the generator there it goes the generator is functioning overdrive is turned off not everybody has shelter here but uh, some people do some people don't but because of that, some of your people fell ill due to the cold in their workplaces and homes. To treat them, build a medical post or other more advanced buildings left unchecked. Sickness will be your undoing. Cold homes and workplaces cause people to get sick. Sick can be treated in medical posts. Uh, the gravely ill will need an infirmary. Until you build one, you can save their lives by assigning... Uh, signing one of two laws. The radical treatment law allows you to treat the gravely ill in medical posts, but some of them will be left as amputees. Or the sustained life law allows you to keep the gravely ill alive but untreated in medical posts or care houses indefinitely. And then you get some more information down there. I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Uh, Let's see, it's 1.30 in the morning. I don't know if I can possibly, I don't know if I can build another tent at the moment. Let's see what happens if I try. It does cost 10 wood and it, it's allowing me to do it. Uh, you can see down there at the bottom, above the discontent uh, line, you've got two red numbers. One is 20, and the other one is one the 20 stands for people who don't have a home and the one is a sick person so i'm going to go ahead and build 
another tent that will house 10 more people. Let's see if they actually get, yeah, they actually do, they actually are working on it during the night, so that's good. It's about morning, so they're about ready to go, start getting ready to go to work. At least we're alive. Not everyone's so lucky. Get a move on, chaps. There's still plenty of work to do. Righto! Got another prompt here. The number of sick is rising and we don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather the necessary resources. Consider signing the emergency shift law. Okay, here we go. The Book of Laws. So right here at the, be at the beginning, we have a few things available to us. They're suggesting we do the emergency shift law. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at the cost of everything else or die. This uh, Signing this law will give you the ability to force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. So they'll work for 24 hours and then they'll stop uh, and have a rest and then they'll go back to their normal shift. Using the emergency shift will raise discontent. Discontent will raise slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by holding X. <laughs> the guy made the announcement. People are already going to be complaining, I'm sure. Uh, each building has an, an ability tree, I guess, or abilities they can uh, use anyway. Press R2 hovering over the building to open the shortcuts menu and access building abilities quickly. You unlocked a new building ability by signing a law. Building abilities can affect society in many ways. Each has a cooldown and many also a cost. You can find out more about a given ability in the buildings panel. We'll back out of that and go ahead and pause. So we're, we're short on wood here because I need to build some more stuff. This is coal. We're doing okay on coal. This is all coal. Okay, here's a wood crate. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. I'm hitting L1. Yeah, there we go. I hit L1 over to the Actions tab there. And then Emergency Shift. This will raise discontent, but we will get uh, an extra supply of wood for the next 24 hours. So I'm going to do that. Discontent is going up. Pay close attention to hope and discontent of your people. If they become too angry or lose faith, your days as their leader will be numbered. Uh, yeah, it's pretty basic. When the people's needs are not fulfilled, discontent rises. Laws can affect the mood of the society. Buildings uh, can raise hope and lower discontent. Yeah. Okay. So, see that? I wonder if I should do that again. I wonder if doing this again will be dangerous. I'm going to go ahead and do it and see what happens. Oh, discontent is rising. All right, maybe that'll be a mistake. So they're about to go to work here. 24 hours on the job. Insane, but that's our lot. They'll cheer up once I build a medical facility. I've still got 10 people that need a shelter. Everybody else is going to work their regular shift. Speed up time a little bit until I get some... Okay, they're gone to work. Now I have enough to build a another shelter 
So this will give everybody a place to live at least. Discontent did drop a little bit, I guess, because it's daytime. I wonder if I could should go ahead and shut down the uh, the generator. Because hmm. I still haven't achieved my goal down there in the lower left-hand corner of stockpiling coal. How do I... Is there any way to turn this off? Does not appear so. So I'll just keep going there, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay, my coal total is going up. I'll probably reach 200 during the day here. Maybe not. Uh, there we go. Fight the cold. The generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now food. There will be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Okay, so I'm going to pause. Now you need, need to bu uh, build either a hunter's hut or a hothouse. I don't have the hothouse technology just yet. Um, so we're going to build. You can see there up at the top of the construction menu, L1 and R1 gives you different tabs. People, health, food, resources, and tech. So for food, we have the hunter's hut. So I'll build that here. And then we're going to have to build a hothouse, or no, a cookhouse, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll do that. Now, I'm out of space here around my main, around the generator. I'm out of space. So I'm going to need to build a street. Because the buildings have to either be adjacent to the generator itself or a street. So what's the best? Looks like this stuff is the farthest away. That's the hunter's tower though. So I'm going to go ahead and build the street from here and you can see when you you can you can bring it out and have it go uh, a little off center there not sure if that's the wisest thing to do though in terms of future placement of buildings so this will take 10 wood to do to build this street but I'm going to go ahead and do that And you'll see the people building the street. There they go. Night's coming again. Now we need to build a cookhouse. We'll put this right here, maybe. Put that like that, I guess. And then I totally forgot my hunter building here needs to have people assigned to it. So I've got 14 available people. So I'm going to, you should be in the workforce part of the menu here. And then I'm going to go ahead and give them five workers. And then when the cookhouse is finished, I'll, it will take workers and engineers, I believe. And I totally forgot the steel also takes engineers. So I'm going to go ahead and assign 
one engineer. I don't know what that does for you really, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. And it looks like we're at about 1030 at night. And I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. Once again, we're up over 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop this video here. And we will pick it up right here in the next video. Thanks for watching.